Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy, and welcome to my channel where today I'm gonna make I'm, this thing I'm calling a rain shaker maze. And I don't really know what else to call it. I haven't seen anything like it, and we probably never will again. But to make this, you need a few things in specific. One is this die from Avery L called the Petal Plate Die. And just so you know, there's some other petals that you can get to go with it. And you can do all kinds of different things with them. And then you need these glass beads. You need this tiny, 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 tiny micro beads. Larger beads won't work. Okay, the sandwich we need to make that I need to explain first is white cardstock on the front, then acetate, then foam. This is craft foam. And then your white paper underneath that's gonna hold all the beads in. And we're gonna cut our dies and then there's gonna be beads moving around behind that acetate. So I'm gonna start with some stick it. And the stick it is gonna go on the backs of a bunch of these pieces. First, I put it on the back of the white cardstock that's on the front of the card because I need it to stick to the acetate. And here I am pulling it off. It's already been die cut. This stick it goes through a die cut machine very well because it's super thin and my die came out just perfectly with the layer of cardstock and the stick it together. But I'm just peeling it off super carefully so that this front piece is the thing that's gonna show and I need it to just be really tidy and beautiful. I'm gonna stick it onto my acetate, which is basically just a piece of packaging that I've recycled. I cut all of that extra packaging into little bit little bigger than card front pieces so I'll have it available to use for things like this. Now here's my craft foam. I put stick it on the front and the back which means all these little petals that I'm pulling out are actually stickers and I'm going to show you something at the very end that I'm doing with those as stickers. Okay now our sandwich is coming together little by little. That's the front piece in my left hand and here is the craft foam. And before I take off any of the stick it, I need to start trimming it down and creating my maze. This maze is going to go down the card back and forth so that the beads travel along this line. So we need to create that line and create the maze. And it's gonna be complex to explain, but I'm gonna see if I can simplify it for you. First, I'm gonna take my scissors and go across each one of those center pieces. And those center pieces are where the beads are gonna travel along. That's their little road. And so I need to cut above them to make room for the beads to travel along their road. And I could just cut a piece like I'm going to right now to create a road for them to just travel down that little slit. And I could do that across the whole card. Originally on my prototypes, I had tried that and it didn't work because it created all these trapped spaces where all of my beads got trapped and stuck and it was a little hard for them to move. So you see me removing all of the extra pieces that are in the way. So now I could again create a little road there, but I want to remove all the extra pieces. So since this is the turnaround, this is the area where the, the little beads are gonna go there and then they're gonna turn the other way, then I need to take out all this stuff on the inside and just remove it. I'm gonna snip it out, and I wanna to try to clean up some of those areas so I don't end up with any spots that trap beads. And that little, little spot in there just may trap some, and I wanna keep them free flowing. So the smoother this area is, the better. And remember, this is all going to be hidden behind that card front that we cut out that's on the, the acetate right now. So it doesn't matter that this is kind of looking like a hot mess. It's going to come together, I promise you, just stick with me. So here we have the turnaround. This is the area where the beads are gonna come down and turn and go the other direction. I can create that little path or I can remove all those extra pieces. And I'm doing that step just to kind of walk you through mentally that we're creating the path, but then I'm also removing that extra. Because if you ever try this with another die, the same concept should work as long as you have a die that has a path that you can follow. So you can sort of see that Z shape starting to form. It's a serpentine. So here again, we can create a small path or we can just go along and just remove all of the, the big areas. 
and create some open spots for this to travel down. Now there are some individual petals you see they're left behind and I'm going to use them in a specific way on the card but you know you could remove those entirely I suppose. I'm not sure what that would do to the path but you just need to leave a really good clear path for the beads to travel along. I'm going to have a still picture of this path this photograph on my blog. So if you end up trying this card, you can just go there and look exactly at that and follow it along so you know exactly where to cut. Okay? So now we need to remove the stick it. And it's really hard on this squishy foam to do it. We're going to remove one side first, and this side we're going to, and, and watch it because your fingers are going to get stuck to the whole thing. It's going to be a crazy mess. It is hard to put on here. You need to line up all the pieces on the back of the acetate so that that piece that we cut on the front hides all of this mess behind it because you don't want to be able to see any of that. So I'm just moving each little piece around until I'm kind of <laughs> happy with how it's not being seen through the front. So just try to make it tidy. Now I've removed the sticket from the back, back end as well. So now I've got sticky facing me and it's ready to receive the beads. I also have a piece of cardstock ready to cover this instantly because if you sneeze <laughs> you can make a big mess. So here are my beads. I've put them in a little plastic bag and I kind of taped it closed and cut one corner so that I could pour a small stream of beads. Now you can't really see it super well but I wanted to put the beads in here following the serpentine that we've created. You remember we did that and you saw that serpentine pattern and I'm just going to put the beads in that serpentine so you can see it's the reverse of where it was because it's face down now. But all of those beads need to go in there. You need to not get any beads, and I mean any beads, on top of the sticky. All that sticky part needs to stick to paper because if you have any gaps, all of these beads are going to just start falling out and it's all going to leak. And then you're going to have a mess. <laughs> so you need to make sure that you get it all in there. You could, instead of using beads, you could use glitter in there, which would be kind of beautiful. I'm not sure how well it would travel, if it would travel as well as these beads do. But it could be kind of cool as well. But you also need to make sure you really seal it. Now those little petals, those five little petals that were, were the little trap spots, those I just put colored beads in just for color on the card. And now I'm going to cover it and I'll trim that the edges of it off so I made it bigger than I needed to but I want to turn it over and see if it works. And this was the magic moment when I went oh my gosh it works. You can watch the white beads slowly move down the card as I tip it back and forth left and right I can move those beads from one end to the other until they all end up at the bottom. I don't know if you ever played with any toys like this as a kid, but I absolutely loved these kinds of things. And I think this is just a fun, fun idea for a card. It is very time consuming and all of the sticky stuff is a little bit of a mess, but boy, is it fun to make and fun to play with. I'm not even sure if I can send this to anybody because I love it so much myself. How nice is that? Well, I also wanted to use those petals that I had cut out of the foam piece, all those leftover pieces that had sticky on both sides. Remember that? Well, I peeled off the backing from one side and I stuck it into the beads, all of the leftover beads that I had, pressed them down really well. And then you can color them with Copic markers or distress inks, all different kinds of things, and use them as embellishments on cards as well. So look how cute they are as little flowers. I thought it was a really fun way to use the leftover pieces from today's card to make something totally different as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click that like button down below. And if you'd like to go see some other videos, there's a couple here waiting for you. Click away and have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.